we knew he had lots of friends from all over, but never comprehended actually how many people, you know, he had friends with all over the world um, until on the tragedy at Christmas. Yeah. And since then, uh, we've met so many lovely young people out there as well um, that would have been connected with Declan, both from the travelling or from since he came home to work in Ireland again. And they relayed his funeral out to New Zealand. That's right, yeah. yeah. We were, um, we were. I mean, obviously it was Christmas Day and the, the few days after Christmas, so how to family even to come home. We have large families on both sides of the family and um, it wouldn't be possible at short notice like that to come home for a funeral and the weather and everything that goes with it. So we have, we were we were really, really lucky. We have a young lad in the local area that had just recently set up his own business with live streaming. Um, he used to do the GA matches. Right. So. And uh, mm-hmm. we just thought, mm, I wonder, is this possible? Now, <laughs> broadband hasn't uh, reached all the rural parts of Ireland or Mayo and um, that was probably maybe the Wi-Fi, but fair play, he, he pulled it off. He, he was able to live stream the whole funeral for the family and the friends and still the link is still available online for them to... I know for ourselves, and I've said it before, you know, to dip back into it because you go through the motions of a funeral and you, you don't really know what you're doing. You're going through the motions and getting through the day and the night and whatever and... Uh, for us to sit down and look back on the funeral and the lad from New Zealand had arrived back from the boss with um, a beautiful letter that he read out as well at the Mass and just for them, they all got together in Matamata and arranged uh, in, in local pub TV at like 11 or 12 o'clock at night um, to watch a funeral and we were saying, laughing about it afterwards, can you imagine, you know, they'd be thinking, what is wrong with these people and, you know, these Irish uh, <laughs> that are over here going to the pub at 11 o'clock to watch a funeral, funeral. Yeah. not a football match <laughs> for a change, not a G match or anything, but uh, yeah, to watch yeah. a Funeral, but and like that, Declan. The short time he had spent in Matamata, he seems to have known everyone on the street. Yeah. You know, as he walked up or down from the shopkeeper to you know. 